Uh, and I thought I'd uh, show off the first auto-tuning guitar I built. It's uh, a little bit easier to build. It's a bass guitar with a single string. Of course, that means uh, you only need one motor and uh, one feedback pot and all the other hardware. Uh, it's pretty much the same build. Uh, I got a motor uh, on a saddle block held in with uh, some wire ties. The saddle block is just a curved piece of of uh, wood with some bondo on it. That'd be the right shape. There's a pulley. It goes to a lever that goes underneath the guitar body and connects to the string. Uh, right there is the slide pot and uh, it connects to the lever to give you position feedback. Uh, the lever goes underneath the body and comes up right there. It's got a spring tied to it uh, and the spring uh, connects to the string which has uh, a big weight clamped on it to uh, give it a little bit sharper uh, termination for creating waves, standing waves on the string. Gives it a bit purer tone. Uh, a couple of of uh, pickups that were donated. I don't know where these came from. They're, I think they're inexpensive. Maybe a Squire uh, bass guitar. I put them long wise because I wanted a more thumping sound to get rid of some of the harmonics, higher harmonics. Tiny uh, pickup. That's a relay coil. A PC relay coil with the cover removed and a neodymium magnet stuck on the side and it turns it into a pickup. Um, and the bridge, I mean nut I guess at this point, which is a piece of threaded rod which worked pretty well for the first guitar. Uh, another big clampy weight thing to give it a uh, good tone and there's the tuning machine. Uh, the whole thing's built on a piece of square steel pipe which is really stiff. It doesn't have to be that stiff uh, because it's only a single string but it's a really easy way to build these things sort of like Legos. Underneath there's a door spring which gives uh, uh, counter tension to the lever so the motor doesn't have to work so hard. The uh, whole thing's run by a couple Arduinos. One of them does all the guitar tuning and the other one's just there to decode MIDI uh, which comes from uh, this cable which goes to the computer and I'll show you that in a second. Big old power supply back there which isn't really that uh, powerful. It's just I had these big capacitors and so I needed to use them. Uh, and then I've mixed it up in a little mixer so you can uh, I can listen to it when I'm playing with a monitor and also play it on the computer. I actually could listen through the computer speakers but it's not as much fun because you get a little more oomph with a bigger monitor. And I got a little effects box uh, for basic effects box I picked up on eBay. Okay so now I'll set this up so you can see the uh, the uh, score uh, and the motor moving while I play it.